Yeah, I'm in Uruguay, in South America. I've been stranded here for six months. Mm -hmm. it cuts off electricity. I've been having power outages, actually. So I will resume, or if I need to, I was just telling Gabe in Espanol, if I need to resume, if you don't, if I need to resort only to audio, you'll see I just turn my camera off, okay? So this is, this is the idea. How about I'll, I do a guiding meditation for approximately 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. I, no, Namotasa, and feel free to join, and we can mute after that. I'll read the, um, I can even share the screen. Can I share the screen, Gabe? Yeah. I will read the Metta Sutta before starting the guided meditation, the guided meditation. Okay, and then I'll do approximately, we take a break. If you want to have intentions in your heart to share after the guided meditation. Then I'll do a short talk. We can take a little, stretch our legs, do a little talk about some reflections about Metta. And at the end, we do a little uh, sharing thoughts and comments or questions. Okay. So I will... If you want to ring a bell, Gabe, at, uh, at 9.30, uh, here is 20, is 9.30, uh, 7.30, yeah? That would be helpful, so I don't have to. <clears throat> so let me... I'm very grateful to have enough internet to be with you. Mm. I've been five months with very little internet and now I've been managing, but now I have power outages. So it's a good opportunity for Meta. <laughs> mm. Take a comfortable position. And just for now, enter into your body. <clears throat> Namo tasa bhagavato arahato sama sambuddhasa. Namo tasa bhagavato arahato sama sambuddhasa. Namo tasa bhagavato arahato sama sambuddhasa. This is the Metta Sutta. To reach the state of peace, one skilled in good, in the good, should be capable and upright, straightforward and easy to speak to, gentle and not proud, contented and easily supported, living lightly and with few duties, wise and with senses calmed, not arrogant and without greed for supporters and should not do the least thing that the wise would criticize. May all be happy and secure. May all beings be happy at heart. All living beings, whether weak or strong, tall, large, medium or short, Tiny or big, seen or unseen, near or distant, born or to be born, may all, may they all be happy. Let no one deceive another or despise anyone anywhere. Let no one through anger or aversion wish for others to suffer. 
As a mother would risk her own life to protect her child, her only child, so toward all beings should one cultivate a boundless heart. With loving kindness for the whole world, should one cultivate a boundless heart above and below and all around, without obstruction, without hate or without ill will. Standing or walking, sitting or laying down, whenever one is awake, may one stay with this recollection. This is called the sublime abide abiding here and now one who is virtuous and endowed with vision not taken by views and having overcome all greed for sensual pleasure will not be reborn again translation by gil fronston So as we start with meditation, this is an invitation to incline the heart towards softness, to arrive here. Let's take several breaths together first to arrive. And with each exhalation to soften to relax to invite our minds to settle to abandon agitation In this meta practice, understanding it as friendliness, to extend this, this friendliness towards ourselves, towards this body right here, right now.
feeling within our bodies, within your bodies. What is needing your care, your attention, your kindness? Turning our minds towards inclining towards care. To whatever arises right now. How is it right now for each of you? And you meet what arises with softness, with space. Without judgment. This capacity of the heart for friendliness, for openness, is a true refuge. It's a true home. And as we could find that friend, the space of friendliness, we could be more available for others to care, to rejoice with, to be present. I would offer some phrases that you might find useful or beneficial, but any suggestion that doesn't resonate within your heart and body, just let it be.
May I be safe and protected from inner and outer harm. May I be safe and protected from inner and outer harm. If you could invite your, your being to hold yourself in, with kind regard, with all the struggles and the challenges, the joys, everything. To find a space of non-contention. May I be safe and protected from inner and outer harm. May I be safe and protected from inner and outer harm. May this heart be peaceful. May this heart be peaceful. And if it comes into your mind, somebody one or many persons that you want to extend good wishes, kindness, friendliness. Hold them in your heart. May you be safe and protected from inner and outer harm. May your heart be peaceful. May your body be at ease.
May you be safe and protected from inner and outer harm. May your heart be peaceful. May your body be at ease. And if thinking arises or your heart wanders, invite it gently to come here, to come back. And extending our friendliness, warmth, good wishes, well-wishing to everyone without exception. Resting our hearts in this expansive, boundless resonant field of kindness, human and non-human, may all beings without exception, may they be safe and protected from inner and outer harm. May all beings above and below, in all directions. Be safe and protected. held in safety and kind regard. They shared in silence these few minutes, left few minutes.
Thank you. Let's take a few minutes to see if any of you would like to share your good wishes for somebody or some situation especially. And then we'll take a few minutes break just to stretch a little bit before we continue. And I'll just say quickly that um, I'm recording, but we won't post um, anyone's comments except Cecilia, if that's okay with you. Well, we can check in later, Cecilia, but anybody else, um, we won't be posting your, whatever you share. So don't worry about that. Okay. So I don't know if any person, if you would like to unmute yourself or if you can, I would just, it's a little cold here, so I'm going to have to wear a hat. <clears throat> So I wanted to, to share some reflections with you and I, <clears throat> I've been thinking so much about in these times how the confluence of so many elements coming together, issues of oppression, the pandemic, revealing an immense amount of injustice, so I've been really reflecting in this where to, daily, in a daily basis, where to find refuge and really dropping the heart, dropping my heart into this, the safety, the coming back, the friendliness of Metta and Metta as, as especially remembering, recollecting how in these times of so much uh, fear also, the Buddha teaching this as a protection, as a protection to hold the heart. And uh, I kept coming back during these days in the very early Tibetan uh, teaching, the Pema Chodron actually, I, I remember listening in the late 90s, I think, she was saying to hold, to hold the fearful mind, to, to be, to, the fearful mind to be cradled within the heart of loving kindness. And having a real physical sense of this of the mind, the agitation of the mind and very basic uh, survival even um, being in just dropping, dropping within this the safety of the heart kind of cradling and that has been helpful Especially when, with with so much um, um, so many things that justifiable are arising, anger or agitation within the mind. 
even if I if I don't find a space directly of friendliness towards many people right now in the world, at least to protect the heart, to come back to protect the heart and be friend to befriend that that's arising, that uh, difficulty. I think I'll have to just talk a few minutes. Continue talking a few minutes like that, or I'm going to drop out of the call. <laughs> the internet, I get my, the wave coming up and down. So this is uh, some of my reflections. Um, I kept, I kept coming back to this idea of this idea of friendliness starting with oneself, within meta, and by holding that space of the heart in order to re-engage within the world, to re-engage with others. In this case, that um, I've been learning myself a lot about within this isolation in a way, so many also fears within this mind very basic fears that is only 60 people are approximately what i am is a very 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 small it's a very small and and i've been also kind of feeling soothing the body feeling okay get being in touch with very early conditioning i think of our human bodies about safety, unsafety, memories. And then the, the, the immense holding this, this sadness so much um, so much arising in this moment as we are struggling to transform our collective minds, our collective being as a species. And within that, I've been uh, really allowing uh, the Sangha of all beings, of, of the earth uh, sustaining us right now, just allowing also, allowing that to enter, to sustain, to nurture. And I keep feeling uh, Jaya Radgar, who is um, a British uh, teacher based in the UK. She was a Buddhist nun uh, under Ajahn Sumedho in Britain. She talks about metta as a vibrational frequency of the heart that is available to us. I really like that resonance, that idea of a vibration. And to infuse the mindfulness practice to, to what arises, anything that arises within the mind, to meet with friendliness as an as a sound that is the, the metaphor of vibration and encompassing surrounding pervasive so I've been um, thinking a lot also, I'm finding about what to share with you specifically. And in this moment, I was 
thinking as as in these days as I was preparing, I was thinking about um, an Uruguayan poet exactly. His name is Mario Benedetti. That says when he's a very well known poet in Uruguay and pretty much in all the Latin American world and a Spanish speaking world in many areas in the US also and in the world. And he says when 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 the in español I say first when cuando los odios andan sueltos uno ama en defensa propia. When hatred when hatred he says this in plural when hatred is going loose is loose in like loose in the streets one loves in self defense and this is something he i don't know i think it's so powerful he one loves in self defense <laughs> just Finding this choice within the heart, keep finding back a choice within this. Let's see if I can join you in this immense amount of turmoil. So keep finding a space of relating with different areas of oneself and then be more open to others and to all that's that's happening and that needs our presence our care so i would like to open it to everyone to comments thoughts questions if you have I'm sorry, I need to, it keeps going in and out for me, but I think I'll, hopefully I can be here. <laughs> so, I don't know how well you can see me. So Hi. You... You're welcome. I'm glad you're here. Thank you. Thanks, Cecilia. I can feel your heart all the miles away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, just one thing that I've been reflecting on, just kind of that, yeah, I think there's times in my life where the, the heart and its power feels more palpable, more real, and like I respect it more have more confidence in it like oh this is a real force this is a real factor and i think part of it's too just confidence oh and there's there's some some capacity to kind of just the, for the heart to be beautiful in a very simple quiet way that's sort of how i notice it sometimes like it's and it's and sometimes I think what what can happen is when there's so much suffering and confusion, not sure how to be of support, and just kind of I think the heart can get kind of numb, and um, and and I think also there can be a view like with when there's so much suffering, like that the heart can't be beautiful like 
um, like it's it's not okay to be happy, not okay to to be loving or or like, I think it's just just with yeah anyways different different things going on. It's just a lot of intensity, but just in the last few days, I've had a few moments, and I think a lot of it's just that sensitivity and kind of system being able to settle a little bit, but just recognizing actually the healing power of that very simple, like non, um, it's not, it's not that impressive, like it's not going to change the world necessarily, it's not going to solve everything, but it's like just that basic goodness and like having some respect for that and appreciation that it does have an impact and like just kind of being committed to that um, and sort of like, well, I may not know anything, like the world may actually be going in a bad direction, but uh, but it's, yeah, it's kind of like uncovering that there is something that can be cultivated. And then it's like kind of, maybe kind of what you were saying, Cecilia, that refuge, like, and then holding on to that, like really, you know, oh, I found something. And then how to just keep it in mind and, and keep, kind of keep appreciating it, even when it's not the loudest thing happening. That's kind of been a reflection for me is this, this quiet, yeah, just sometimes it's as simple as just willingness to just show up with, with suffering. Yeah, that's what I've got. Thanks for, for listening and for, for init initiating that, this Cecilia. Yeah, thank you, babe. And I think you are touching in something very important, just a comment from me, that I've been really, this, this, that simple, simple joy, perhaps, even joy within the heart in these times, like you said, perhaps it could feel like wrong between quotes, no? But at the same time, how to, to nurture the heart, to restore the heart, in, in able, to be able to give and to also let experience flow as it, as it moves continuously. So I also, yeah, I resonate with that, what you were saying about this simple, to avail ourselves of that peace within the heart, even if it's a very quiet, calm moment to regenerate. So. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. I wanted to respond one second about inner and outer harm first. Mm -hmm. I am really, really careful these days about which phrase within practice I, I use and I thought you might choose or, or choose not to use it. But I thought this inner and outer, I find that there is also an amazing piece by David White in his book, Consolations, the poet, talking about crisis, like two st storm fronts joining the inner and outer, yeah. the, the, the heart of our practice. Everything always happening, two things, what's happening and how we receive what's happening. Mm -hmm. So I think it's that meeting point. 
And regarding the song of all beings, yeah, I always, always think human and no human, human or more than human. I have many ways of phrasing it, by the way. It's very helpful for me to enlarge cosmic even all galaxies to enlarge this predicament of this to decenter the human species too to decenter to place us in a bigger scale coming back no coming back again and again i find myself tightening fear and ah oh, yeah Yeah. I find I find also this this giving ourselves a break, no, over and over. I find my heart constantly coming back to that you should know better, like you just said, no? I do too and i constantly but but then finding the relaxation of that's what i mean about vastness of time too to give ourselves more space mm -hmm. you know i think we are such a young young culture the culture we're conditioned most of us at least into eurocentric education this linear kind of crunching time goal oriented is so painful so i've been listening also to this timeline of the earth like the 4.8 billion years you know so but I just want to say simply how many times, too, I, I have to hold my heart saying, it's okay. Okay, you're criticizing yourself again. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> oh. Laughing actually has been helpful for me. I have to I share this really quickly. Um, I've been here five months with my mother, no? Now I'm alone the last five weeks. She was able to repatriate and I would lose my patience. It would be either for a safety reason or not, or for a propane heater I have that is quite dangerous. And my mother is incredibly kind. So it's kind of an amazing teacher. So I would lose my patience about safety. You no, know? she would be, please be careful with that, with that thing, you know? And then I would say, I would simply say, isn't it wonderful to live with Cecilia? Oh, she's such a joy, such a calm being. And we would laugh. And I find humor too, thinking about this spaciousness within all this suffering we are all undergoing. Humor is, I find also such a such a space within the mind and laugh with my mother about, yeah, it's great to live with Cecilia, fantastic. Mm -hmm. So patience, you know. Okay. And remember my grandmother too, during dictatorship, my gra I was young and she continuously saying, okay, time to laugh now. We're gonna laugh about something. I was 12, 13. Not always easy, but. Thank you. Thank you. I keep in my heart too, not, not keeping in mind that we don't know the impact. 
that we can only just do the best we can with this heart, with this body. And fun, keep finding gateways would be into the heart to be able to open and be, be, be present. So for me, the unknown is helpful. It's helpful to give, to, to, to say, we don't know. And we are in this all together. Yeah. All, all beings, all beings, we're all together. I want to thank you all for your practice, for your presence, for your opening to keep coming back to what's arising. It's very, very wonderful for me to be here with you however way this technology allow us to be perhaps many of you know this poem before i i will share the merit if it's okay Perhaps many of you know it, I can't see. <laughs> Can you see the screen? Yes. A gift by Denise Levertov. Just when you seem to yourself nothing but a flimsy web of questions, you are giving the questions of others to hold in the emptiness of your hands song bird eggs that can still ha hatch if you keep them warm butterflies opening and closing themselves in your cap in your cap palms trusting to not trusting you not to injure their city land fur their dust you are given the questions of others as if they were answers to all you ask. Yes, perhaps this gift is your answer. So as we As we finish this, this meeting, I, I, this practice together, may all beings without exception, above and below, in every direction, living near and living far, visible and invisible, born and to be born, may all beings, human, and non-human. May all beings be free from suffering. May all beings be surrounded by kindness. May all beings be free from inner and outer harm. May they find sheltered and respect May they be safe and healthy. May all beings be at ease. May our practice benefit all beings for
Um, do you stay game a little bit? Sure. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Thank you.